What's going on, people? So, like I was just saying moments ago, got another box of figures here. There's a lot of figures going on today, right? I just figured I'm just gonna do all this today, with the exception of a couple that just haven't arrived. Shipping has been a little erratic lately. I don't know if anyone else is experiencing that, but for the most part, my stuff's been coming in like it's supposed to. However, you know, if you order enough things, something's bound to not go your way. So, WrestleMania, what is it? 38 figures will be here sooner or later, as will my Colossus Marvel Legends set. So whenever those come around, expect videos like a week or two after they get here, because, you know, I used to do things all like the same day I got them, but now that I put like more production value in a lot of the videos that I do, not all, that kind of eats up some time. And the fact that, you know, the whole work from home thing is a thing of the past is last year, I had all kinds of time to do stuff. Anyways, these came from Ringside Collectibles. So use Chick Foley, no spaces, when you're checking out for 10% off, and then you can save 10%. First up, we have this. This is Santana. So there you go, take a little gander at that, right? This is a pretty good looking figure. I don't have the other one over here next to me, but from here, I think I might like this one more. So that's cool. We're gonna sit this guy right down here. And now moving right along, up next we have Wardlow. So there is Wardlow, and since this is so early in the figure line, a lot of these guys, it's gonna be like their first figures, right? Which is cool. It's, it kind of took a little longer to get a Wardlow figure, but I will say, I'm not gonna say it was like worth the wait in that he looks amazing, but he does look pretty good though, so that's cool. He's a very plain build, you know what I mean? But it comes down to the face for a lot of the figures when, when there's not a lot going on as far as like costume goes. And yeah, I guess that's just his regular ring gear because it doesn't say that he's using it on any special occasion. And then we have another MJF. This is his third figure, I believe. I think it's his third. Can't really recall for sure, but definitely not his first. I know that. So he's got the little cloak thing, sort of, whatever you want to call that going on. He's got the microphone, of course, because that's how that works. And otherwise, he looks more or less like you would expect him to look. So pretty decent figure in my personal opinion. Though, I don't care for that robe he's wearing. You know, just personal preference, right? Moving right along, we have up next thing, the Luminaries collection, whatever that word is supposed to mean. I honestly don't know. But... I do like the way this box looks, so that's pretty cool. The last unmatched, like the one that they had that was not like the others, was that Cody, which I actually have one right over there. But yeah, so here we go. Sting. It's a pretty look, good looking figure, and from what I was told, right, in some kind of interview that I read, he owns like all his past looks, so he should be able to have figures done on any variation of Sting over the last however long, however many years he's been staying. What, like 30, I guess, maybe? 40? I don't know. I feel like he's kind of old. So we could see a lot of cool Sting figures. I mean, that's just like what they have uh, the option to do. What they actually do is could be different. And then this, wow, this is pretty nice right here. Because of the way the, the camouflage stuff is, that orange and black and yellow, kind of makes me think of New Jack, you know? But yeah, so this is a this is a really good looking one overall, this Ortiz. So I am very pleased with this one. Whatever set he was in for the last round, I would say that, that one was also the best <clears throat> of that particular wave. And then last but certainly not least, we have Ty Conti, right? And hers is looking pretty good too. So for the most part, like they've done really well with this. Like they haven't done any in this particular set that don't look right, in my opinion. Some look better than others, sure. But you know, like you look at the Wardlow, and it's just kind of plain. But that's not against Jazzwares. He just had some plain stuff on that day, right? But yeah, this Ty Conti is looking pretty solid. So very cool. I am definitely pleased with the way Unmatched Series Two came out. I'd be a little more pleased if they had slipped a little chase in there or something. But hey, you know, I'll take what I can get. I got that Darby Allen, so that's all the chase I need for the most part, unless I can get my hands on that Hangman Adam Page. And because we're talking about AEW figures, I'll show you real quick, too, that popped up in the last video, which you may have seen. 
So you got the two pack for Hangman and for Kenny Omega, right? Tag team champs. And then you have this one over here, which was Darby Allen and John Moxley. They were not tag team champs. So, but there's still belt in there though. So that's something, I guess. A little consolation prize. So there we go. That's it. That's Unmatched Series 2. I am now done. Now I've got an even bigger mess to push to the side so I can get over to that and do some, well, some kind of Marvel Legends set. So I'll be back in a second. From me to you, have a nice rest of your day or rest your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. As I just said moments ago, I'll be back in a little bit with another video. When you actually see that video and when it's out there in the free world, I don't really know. It should be close to this one, though. We'll see what happens.